Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where it's been a while since I've played again. I'm hopefully going to be able to get an episode done today before people get home because it's always weird to play my games when people are here. Uh, but yeah, we have this Shadow Cursed Harper that I've like freaking trapped along with us. And what was, I can't, I know that we had, there was something in the Mason's Guild. I tried looking through my quest and I was like, I don't. I don't know. There, oh, it was something about like saloon worship during the Shar like like uh, the invasion. All right, since we're here, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna look at. Door. Let me in. Let me at him. Oh. That might be what's in Old looking bones. Just what does the plaque say? Here lies the Grand oh. Mason. His bones and lies exposed. Oh, somebody crafted that lovingly. All of these statues. I was like, all the statues don't have heads, but I think it's just these ones. I was like, is it a clue? A pile of crushed bones of varying shapes, sizes, and creatures. What? And that's supposed to be the mason? I feel really bad I for this person. <laughs> But it'll, they'll be useful. I'm a terrible, I'm a terrible person. I'm a terrible paladin, I tell you what. There's blood. Fresh blood. On the floor. There was, oh, hello? Why is, why is somebody, I, what is that? <laughs> what was that? Let this be a warning. Those who defy Shah's will shall suffer darkness without her blessing. This is a particular style of killing somebody, I'm pretty sure. I don't think this was just them tied out, but you do actually it happened in The Witcher 3 too, if you make a bunch of bad decisions like I did. Um, inadvertently made a bunch of bad decisions and let a character get I can't remember what this style of it's I think it's basically a style of crucifixion, but it's potentially worse? I don't know. They stick a pole up your butt and let you slide down it slowly until it goes all the way up. All the way at the top. And, uh, you, I mean, ostensibly you die before that, one would hope, but <gasps> it horrified. I actually couldn't play for a while. I think when I found out what happened to her, I was like, oh, I was utterly devastated. <laughs> and people had warned me, they're like, make sure you say the right thing to get her to come with you. And I was like, okay. And I didn't know, I had no idea what to say. I thought I was saying the right things. And then, What's inside? and then I was not, and she left. And I was like, oh, well, okay, bye, you know? Alas. Also, there was that weird uh, curse thing over there. It looked like a curse. I don't know. Are there secrets? That's from inside. Those are the bones. I'm not seeing any particular secret on the roof. Oh, bones. Okay, hang on. We'll go up. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, I don't know if my people can follow me. I don't have a bunch of weaklings anymore. This is the girl fight girl boss squad. <laughs> Where everybody is more than capable of getting around. Those men. <laughs> they can't jump this high. <laughs> just a bunch of nerds. They're just a bunch of nerds. Oh, that's too funny. Uh, is this like siege equipment up here? I guess this they did have this place kind of was sieged, huh? That's the graveyard. I expected more from the graveyard. I don't know. Was it Divinity 2? Or like the graveyard was like a happening place? Witcher 3 also happening places graveyards. I was expecting more from the graveyard. Probably I've just missed something. But, you know. Seems like the best way. <clears throat> oh, hey. A chest. No, don't move. No, I know we're strong. I know we're so strong. Ooh, ooh. Not that I have crafted anything <laughs> at all. <laughs> I have crafted nothing alchemical in all this time. Oh, come on. You guys can do it. You can do this one. I know you can. Come on. Come, come. The dog made it. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, my game glitched out there for a second. I had to reload. Moving in. Trying to see if there's anything. Infernal iron! See, this is why this is why I walk around. This is why I will never not try to put my face into every single corner of this game. Because I just found some infernal iron near the front door. A deep scroll of burning look at this. Oh hey. Secrets. Why is I figured there'd be a trap door on the outside, not the inside, because I figured we have to go underground. Kind of how, so like the saloon people had to like go underground to like, uh, you know, try to rebel against the Shar invasion. Oh, that's curious. Key hold Harold. Well, apparently I had some tower-shaped key. Yeah, baby. And this seems like new stuff. We have not. Oh, note from mate from the Mason. Congratulations on finding the place, thief. But your journey ends here. Ah! A quick say that. I was gonna say it's interesting that there's a trap disarming kits and stuff upstairs in a Mason's guild. Uh, I think that lever is going to close the door, which I don't particularly want to do. Do I have, like, a glowing red aura? Why do I have this? Oh, maybe it's the controlling undead. Ah, okay. What's hiding here? Oh! I knew it! I literally was it. Mm. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't go click on the chest. Like, as I was about to try to cancel the move, I was like, wait, there's traps in here. You shouldn't just click on chests randomly. Look at freaking the, look, mm, I, mm, mm. And I'm in turn-based mode. I don't know. I guess I can try to disarm. Ooh, yeah, please help. <laughs> help me. <laughs> no! No, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use inspiration on that. Okay, that should be, wait, minus one. Oh, please. Oh, no, I'm the worst person for this in the squad. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Why, why not? It's just gonna. Okay, I'm gonna waste all my turns on this. All right. I don't think I can disarm. I think that was the only thing I could do for my turn. Yeah, not enough resources. So I'm gonna stand here where it's safe. Rackets will be done. Okay, what do you guys have a way? It would the lever maybe? I'm assuming that lever opens this door, but let's just... Okay, so I've gotten out of the mode, the time mode, but apparently my character moved a tiny bit. Um, and so she got hit a full in the face with fire. And I was gonna try to just go hit the thing over there, hit the lever with my dog, um, but nope. Um, action. Actually, I'm Not gonna. Hmm, I'm gonna move my stuff. my mind, and well, in it. Oh, doggy, stay out of the fire, and I'm going to have Lazelle do it. I crave blood. I'm, I'm glad. Quickly then. I'm glad you crave blood. Let's give her guidance. Oh my gosh, I was like, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Oh my gosh, you get bronze and gold. Really, that's it? That's all we get? Well, put everyone still back breathing, together. Despite everything. Yeah, still breathing despite everything. Is there... 
Swift as my feet can carry can't, me. Can't see nothing. Do the Gith? I don't think the Gith Yankee have dark vision. They they're not on the list anyway. At least at the on the loading screen. What this? Ooh. We're finding secrets under the Masons. This is just like the Freemasons, or like, you know, the idea of the Freemasons. The, uh, what is it? The, the public perception of the Freemasons in America. They're like a secret society. I don't, I don't know much about them. I know what a couple of the gravestone markers look like that have the Freemason symbols. Like, I know what those look like. Uh, I haven't done much looking into them. Because, uh, I'm not really, not really, I don't really care. <laughs> I just think it's a lot of uh, conspiracy theory stuff, and it's not really my thing. But, but who knows? I'm trying I need to read. Harvest of memory brought to the shadow fell, which is a reflection of the world where you're in, and a dark reflection too, ripe with wickedness and in twisted echoes and despair. By their raven queen, the shadow kai are elves, not elves as you might find along the sword close, but elves that reflect their home with their physiology and attitude. On the whole, they are cruel, nasty-minded people who are nonetheless singularly devoted to their queen and her domain of power. That domain is life and death, and in their unwavering fealty to their mistress, the Shadow Archive performed the thankless duty of ferrying the memories of the dead for her to admire in a kind of memory-based menagerie. Interesting. Okay. I did not know that. Cultural analysis spends a good number of pages on Luskin. Tucked, in a, tucked, tucked like a gold filling, or some would say a pus filled abscess, in the mouth of the River Mira, Luskin is a city of merchant princesses, swarthy bandit princes, and the most the most diverse cutthroat and fractured cabal of pirates on Toro. Torn into factions, these piratical groups are known as ships. Here the book details each faction with a frankly dizzy attention to detail. The one point of interest is that the, is that the ship Kurth faction are in fact controlled by a secret mercenary company of Drow. Okay. I see. I feel like a whole a whole book on like the the sociological. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> I was trying. Oh my gosh! I didn't even see anything. I didn't even go that far. Oh, this sucks. Uh, I feel like anyway. I feel like a book detailing the lives of uh, pirates, bandit princes, and pirate princesses and their people would be pretty freaking cool. Aura of vile oblivion. You stay over there, then. You stay, get thee hence, Satan. Alright, time to Beyblade it up. Where's the, where are the guardians at? Done. Aww. Alright, Papa, you stay back here and you crouch. Swift and lethal. I don't know, I gotta figure out, let's see, what do you wanna do? You do have an aura of villainous intent, and I don't really, I don't know if I should put Lazelle in there. Let's do. Extinct, oh, that's exsanguinating. I was like, oh my gosh, exsanguinating malice, but it's extinguishing malice, which is uh, maybe less bad. Nearby lights are extinguishing the presence of this creature's roiling darkness. Yeah, but I see okay in that. I hope. Piercing resistant, bludgeoning resistant, slashing resistant. It's immune to that makes sense. And poison. Cold resistant. Oh my gosh, this thing is powerful. But radiance apparently does fine. Wait, wait a minute. Slashing, piercing, bludgeoning. I don't think I have anything else. This is your end. Holy cow, his L does so much damage. I don't know where the baddies are. Where you at, baddies? Path be true. Alright, we managed. Pretty it's kind of a weird fight, because uh no one stopped me yet. Didn't see anything. Go ahead and short that rest helps. us. Oh. That's curious. What's curious? Where? This? Oh, button? Button. Listen, there's Moonrise Diagram. Care of a drawn diagram of Moonrise Towers, a circle of red ink draws your attention as though something has been stashed in the tower's prison dungeon. I mean, someone's marked a spot at the base of Moonrise Towers. Worth a look. Uh, yeah, but, uh, I'm exhausted. Are you kidding me? I freaking just had you sleep. Or take a short rest, rather. Logbooks. 
Hefty book is labeled 1371 and stamped with an elegant stag against a dark green background. Six Uktara sent two druids, some of the newer recruits up north. The village there has had two years of failed crops and are unlikely to survive the next winter. Nine Uktara, a group from Baldur's Gate, arrived. They've set up camp on the edge of the forest. Two bears and a fox came by. Their territory has been burned out. Half the fox's cubs died, paying this new group a visit tomorrow. Ten Uktar visit did not go well. Go well. After telling me where to shove it, they said they cut down half the forest and burn out any wildlife that dared to stick around. Claimed they were going to farm the land and make a new city of their own. Time to get creative. Twelve Uktar. Mudslide did the trick, buried half their farming equipment, and made the rest useless. They won't be back anytime soon. Got reports of a red wizard in the village south of here, sending three rangers to investigate. If they catch even a whiff of a red cloak, I'm contacting the house of Sylvanas. Okay. Look, I know there's a button, but I'm afraid to press it until I, I know that there's other things in here to read. Oh. Scroll of Ice Storm. That looks cool. Alright, this is much better. No time to I rest. had Carlac cast us light on me. Another step forward. Which honestly makes things Here infinitely easier to see. The corners were getting pretty shadowy. A distant memory of a man stretching his back with a groan. Another day of hauling masonry blocks done. Dude, I feel you like a tiny bit, except for the fact that it's only because I fell and was injured during the ice storm recently. Because I was an idiot and went outside. For like, I went out like 20 feet maximum, like 15 feet to my car. And it was on my way back, and I just wanted to grab something out of my car. On the way back, totally slipped, and now my back and my neck are paying the price. A happy, faded memory comes So I'm stretching. <laughs> A woman walking along a beach, holding hands with her husband-to-be. Cool, cool. Love to be sad. You can almost taste the sour ale that once clung to this soul's breath. He was insensible when the shadows came for him. Might be a better way to find it. They sense this one hid for oh, days horrible. as the sounds of battle got closer and closer to town. He didn't even care who won, so long as it ended. Two very different responses. Before the shadows, there was once a house full of warmth and children's laughter in this one's life. No more. Cool, 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 cool. Alfred, you're probably surprised that I'm writing you. No, though no more is a surprise than me. You warned me of Thorm's malice, yet I took up hammer and trial to build that cursed tower. You warned me of the coming war, yet I built the prison that would contain his foes. You warned me I did not listen. It is my deepest regret, and I must atone. I know more about the tower's construction than anyone, and possessed innumerable tools and supplies. Besides, gather your allies at last light, and let us devise a plan to infiltrate Moonrise. Cuthric plans for war. He expects to face halberds in the staves in the light of day. We will end him with a dagger to the back before he can so much as raise a blade. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I I hope that you'll try. Your brother Morfrin. Okay. Halfred and Morfrin. An, an unfortunate naming convention. I should probably have somebody pick yeah, this silver up. <laughs> Listen, the money's gotta come from somewhere. I gotta feed all these people and equip them. Which is really exactly what the ye olden days warfare was like. In some places they didn't pay their soldiers. They just were like, whatever you can loot. I mean, it's either yours, or you put it in a big communal pile, and then we dish it out as we see fit. Uh, and that was, uh, that was how you I paid people. Never so. this. Yay. How think quickly things change. The Thorms are Selunite through and through, or so I believe. Perhaps Cethric only converted for Melodia, and with her death, and then his daughters, his faith died too. But to turn to Shar, it beggars belief. Cethric's justicar, or justiciers are growing greater in number and more determined to route any traces of Saloon in Wraithwind. Why did they think this town was built? One cannot rip out the foundations of a building and expect it to remain standing. Brother and I remain the last two bastion of Our Lady of Silver in the town. A few, the trusting few, come to worship in secret by moonlight nights. Moonlit nights. Others, com others, converts all. Whether they truly believe, I cannot say. Impossible, isn't it? Sick of standing idols while just this year's gain power in our humble town. What will become of us if we allow it? I met a man who was no man, touched by a devil, or maybe worse, but he offered me something I couldn't refuse. Help. The time is now. Cethric's justiciers, their stronghold in the temple below, they will be wiped out. All of them. I didn't ask how. I just want them gone. Let the harbors have it, Cethric, now. They'll make short work of him. Oh. Interesting. So the 
this this mason knew of like the whatever calamity befell the justiciers in the temple below. Oh, we did it! Yay! <laughs> we did the investigation. I did not think. I thought there'd be more. Not gonna lie. Very well. Yielded up. I didn't see that. Well, no traps, please. Yeah, no traps, please. Ha ha ha! See, I did that. I've, I'm learning slowly. Action. Slowly action. learning. I clicked on it and then I clicked out of it. And just got close enough to notice that it was. Oh no. We have to roll good for this. Now, we are doomed. This is why we need the blonde boy. Asterian's rolling in his metaphorical grave. Ah, uh, but yes, we need to not, we, we need to have a mage for this, and uh, I do not have one on me. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, with the weapon attack, you gain arcane acuity. So what is arcane acute? <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe it would be for somebody who has like some light magic on top of weapon stuff. I'll take it. I'll take it. Or Lazo will. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Excuse me. Let's What's in look here? at the books. <clears throat> we found some good ones in this place. <clears throat> what was it? I think I have read this one. Jake's Encyclopedia of Eels. It seems to be handmade. For what? No one wants to read about eels, eh? You stuck up candle, keep gets can keep your books on magic and demons and celestial bodies. People are practical folk and they want to read practical things. Can't make a pie out of stars, can you? No, eels is important. Listen, if we're talking about the natural history of eels, I actually just did just uh, <laughs> bookmark a book on Spotify. What was it called? I am I'm going to go find this thing. Cause I was like, ooh, interesting. <laughs> the book of eels. What is it? The Book of Eels, our enduring fascination with the most mysterious creature in the natural world by Patrick Svensson. Sounds like a ghostwriter for this person. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, let's get one thing straight. Giant lightning eels, not technically eels. They look like I'm sure, and everyone calls them eels, but the shape of the head, the bone structure, you can't tell me that's the same as a giant moray. Now, where can you get eels? Bloody everywhere. From Neverwinter to El Torol to Calumport, you can find any of Where do they breed and how? Well, you've probably heard the stories that they're just snakes that learn to swim or they're baby leviathans or they're underdark spies. But they're all... <laughs> I don't know uh, They breed in the Sea of Moonshay, I'm sure, and then swim all over Faerun. And if those pricks and candle keeps give me the money to sail there, I'd be able to prove it. No, but no, they're too busy studying demon puzzle boxes and mumbling about whatever Alondo said years ago. But Al couldn't tie a good fishing knot for nothing. The book carries on like this for several pages before finally returning to the topic, topic of eels. It sounds like a natural scientist in the making. Like, good on you, Jake. I wish you the best, honestly. I'll read your 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 book that was... Does that say snuggle some green shirt? <laughs> what? Mellow black shirt. It doesn't look black. They got some nice stuff and dang it! Gosh, Never dang moment. it! Oh yeah, okay, let's have, um... Let's have, uh... Carlac carry my armor, because I always have Carlac with me. Oh, uh, Yeah, 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 this armor is pretty freaking awesome. I mean, I can't believe I'm even wearing the helmet. The most important thing is that uh, my face is not obscured during cutscenes. One cut day scenes. I'll catch a break. I'll give it a shot. Swarthy wafer in blue. Sure. Smarmy swaggerer boots. Yeah. Pick that up. <laughs> I <can> hope so. <laughs> oh, nice. Our rich and fertile land. This ancient map depicts the area surrounding Moonrise Towers in detail, depicting a profusion of local fauna, deer, rabbits, black bears, and flora, with special emphasis on areas for prolific foraging. Okay. This is a... what was it? Saloon's Devotee. 
This diary records the life of John Meadowland. He suffered from lycanthropy, becoming a werebear at the event of the full moon. Cured of his condition by a priestess of Saloon, John Meadowland exchanged his claws for a great sword and a cause. He would keep this priestess, her name was Erlorna, Ar safe from all trouble on the highways and byways. Further, he would bear witness. Heh, <laughs> can it? Bear witness. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bear witness to her many miracles. For Errol, Errol Lona was a saint of the goddess and gifted even more than he could have imagined. They never fell in love, though their friendship was quite something. That is nice, right? Like, it's like, oh, it could very easily be a, a tale of love or, or for, not even forbidden love, but like pining because they can never be in love or something. I don't know if Saloon has like a chastity thing. Um, but, uh,. It's also really honest and just nice to read about two people who are like close comrades in arms who are just the best of like like pl the platonic ideal of friendship like capital P you know like inseparable but not necessarily romantically. I like both but like it is nice to read about uh, uh, both of them not just one. I'm trying to like peek around corners. There's a lever. I assume, uh, once again, wow, okay. Scroll of disguise self, uh, scroll of darkness. Here, Lazelle, you have that. Scroll of Misty Step, mm, nope, Shadow Heart, Carlac, you have it. Scroll of disguise self, you know what? Actually, I'll keep that. And scroll of knock, I'll submit to Lazelle. I'm just passing out stuff because I don't know what to do with it. My goodness. Glorious vaulting, elixir of dark vision, speed, potion of invisibility. Love that for us. What is this? What do you do? Okay. Figures. Well, we at least um completed the investigating saloon, I guess. I thought it would be more. But maybe we'll find the remnants of their assault. Maybe it worked. I mean, Kethrick was defeated. And it kind of seems like this guy gave his soul for it or whatever to some entity. This Mason. But uh, I guess I'll go ahead and call it you. <laughs> how exciting. Okay, so I accidentally just... I was... I forgot how buttons worked and and I clicked on the last light. I was trying to look at last light in and I clicked on it and we fast traveled to it so now I had to travel back to this point and I'm gonna run back up here we're gonna go back to the past the cemetery and check out what's going on over there but um, I guess we will what is that what direction is that but yeah, I'll go ahead and call it here. Hopefully I can get over there without any undue shenanigans, but thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons. But... Door? <laughs> what door? Oh no, okay. Be good, be good. Okay, never. But uh, to everyone, including my Acorn Tier patrons, thank you so much, Fane. I appreciate very much your support. And I'm trying to do this while moving, so I'm like slightly distracted. But uh, I want to say an extra special shake. Thank you to Risco Lido, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I truly cannot think enough. Um, I hope you're all still enjoying. I modestly, sometimes I look at the the videos I make and I'm like, people are still watching. That's so nice. So thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, despite my, my troublesome, uh, sporadic uploading ways, I appreciate your patience uh, with that. And before I actually, I'm going to go up here. Before we leave, we'll check out the upstairs. But for now, thank you all for joining me and I hope to see you in the next one.